Taking them flat screen TVs apart, but you know what? I might be SOL. It's got the cord on it. That's some kind of printer or copier. I love to take that apart. Hi, Sean Muddy. You know what? I'm gonna have to come back down here with the car. I'm gonna get them two things there. My daughter ain't gonna like it. But, I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get them. seen a single can on this of course this is Thursday afternoon so I ain't my biggest reason I have to some stuff I have to get at the store I could have got the car but but actually my friends I I've got where I like Scooting around on this thing, looking at stuff and talking to people. And if you're in the car, you ain't talking to nobody but yourself. And this camera. Um. I I like it. I really do. I I'm surprised. I didn't think I would enjoy it this much, but I surely do. I surely do, and I guess that's good. Uh, bring my arm back down there. How y'all doing?
Did you ever go there? I think I checked out one of the videos. Uh, well, yeah, I'm still peddling with it and <laughs> enjoying it. Well, Gives good. me something to do. Are you a junior or senior this time? I am a senior now. Just coming up, you're a senior? Oh, so you're about done. Just about, yes. Just about done. <laughs> and you take this to the bank. Life gets complicated after you get past 18. <laughs> That's part of a song somebody sang one time. Mm -hmm. The easy days are over. You know what? I'm gonna do something stupid. I am going to that TV. I'm gonna take that thing home with me right now. Quick as I get over to it. Of course, I'm gonna drink my coffee first.
I swear I can't believe I didn't see no blue bottle. Oh, there's a blue. There's two blue bottles. <laughs> I missed them. All right. These is pretty good little sandwiches. And this will have to be my dinner and my supper. That's Hawaiian rolls, Gouda cheese, or Gouda, Gala, whatever you call it, and ham. And I think they got something on it, mustard or something. It would be a little bit better if they had mayonnaise on it. One of my viewers said he wouldn't trust this place not to have gators in it since we're in Florida, but the trouble with a spot like this, if there was a gator in here, some of these, uh, excuse me, <clears throat> some of these uh, Florida rednecks would have had that had them called out of here it's just not it's not a big area it's about a square block probably a little bit bigger than a square city block and once anything that was in here was caught out being the location where it's at it would be a long haul the gators can travel over land but they don't tend to get too far from the water. And they would have to make a long haul to get to this little area here, or somebody would have to turn one loose in here. And I'm saying there's no fish in here. There may be frogs and turtles and stuff like that. So one or two small gators could live in here if they got in here. But if there was one in here, somebody done seen it. Cause they like to come up on these banks and get in the sun, sun theirself. And I don't recollect anybody ever seeing one in here. Of course it's possible. But uh, I know across town, back in the uh, late 70s and early 80s, when you was coming on State Road 40 into Ocala and Silver Springs, you would constantly see monkeys that lived over there in Silver Springs, but they'd come out there on the highway and then people would stop and feed them and stuff. And it got to really be a hazard, a traffic hazard and all that. I mean, there was a bunch of them. And people thought that was neat that them things were running around out there and like that. And the state come in and trapped every, and these were, these monkeys were descendants that got away from uh, a batch of monkeys they had when they was doing the Tarzan movies over there. That's where they came from. And, uh, but the state come in there and trapped them all, so there's no more monkeys running loose over there. But there is some gators over there. But there again, that's a pretty good haul from here, you know, for a gator to come over here on their own and then there's a place out between Ocala and Gainesville called Payne's Prairie and that place is just loaded with gators and used to you could see them up on the road and stuff but now they, they went in there and they raised the level of the road maybe 
four foot. And it was like four or five miles across there where them things wasn't coming up on the road. And then they made retaining walls on either side of the road. And this was a 301 441. And that, man, there were some huge gators in that place. But that was, last time that place flooded out, the road was so low going through there that they'd have to block the road off and stuff. And last time that happened, they went in there and they raised, they raised the road. That took them a while to do that, but they got it done. But I don't take no chance for no gators. People say, oh, they're afraid of you. Well, maybe they are, maybe they ain't. Tell that some of them people done got ate by them gators that was afraid of you. Used to hear about that pretty regular, but hear it not anymore. <coughs> Gazoon tight. God bless me and all that stuff. Well, I done relaxed here long enough. It's time for me to head back down the road here and see if I can load that TV up. Now, I'll come and get that printer tomorrow if I couldn't haul that on this scooter, but I, I, I got a way I can get that TV on here. It's gonna be kind of awkward, but I can get it on here. Don't see Caroline over there. I don't see her out there much anymore. Make a run to the that sure ain't. I hate that. I gotta get me a cup holder. And I lid for my cup. I am so sick of spilling coffee on me. Dad, going. I gotta pour some of that out. set that thing right down 
right down in between my knees and the front of this thing. And see how that works. But first I'm gonna drink some more of my coffee. Okay. Here it is. I tell you what, this thing thing's almost as big as my scooter. In a way it is bigger than my scooter. Um I'm wondering. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about this. I forgot about my foot space. You know what? I'm gonna have to do it this way. There, I can do that. <laughs> okay. Let's see, I ain't got too far to go. All right. There we go. <laughs> Good. Dauber, Dauber, Dauber. Nice. You know what? A golf cart's gonna be the answer to my problem. Sure is. Just a little bit where that ain't sticking out over that white line. A little lopsided, but this will work. This will work. Okay. Coming up on the house. So far, so good. She ain't up. She ain't out there anyway. Now I can just slide this thing on in there. Behind the house. Okay, there was a couple of my viewers said that these went in there and I you know what I guess they were right look at that and that goes in there like so and that closes down on that and I'm gonna bet you them things work so, I'm going to, I'm going to take these to my lady friend over there in the morning that has that yard sale every weekend and tell her if she can sell them to sell them. If they're not selling she wants to get them out of the way just give them back to me and I'll scrap them I don't want to actually I like these 
uh, things like this because you put you put bread you know a slice of bread in here and here and then put some um, applesauce or something and of course butter them up too and then put some applesauce on it and put another slice of bread on that and over here and then close them things down and it seals it around there and it's like having a hot fruit pie my wife always called them and i like them like that and that definitely goes in there and yeah and i've never had a poached egg shoot i may poach me an egg in the morning i'm gonna get out here early i got to start my run early in the morning oh uh, because tomorrow's trash day and friday i last friday i had a pretty good pretty good day and my lady friend she I wonder where my other pickup stick is. I don't see it. I have. All right, folks. This this weekend. This is the weekend. This is the weekend. I promise, this is the weekend I'm cleaning this mess up. I'm fixing that dang lawnmower. I know exactly what's wrong with it. I'm going to fix that. There goes Larry over there. And uh, get this yard mowed. And if I can't mow it, I want the, one of the boys will have to do it. Oh, heck, my daughter might even get out there, but I hate to ask her to do it. She works hard. She works hard. Um, but I'm getting this mess cleaned up. All the thread I'm going to put over in a pile in the corner. And I got somebody I'm going to call that's going to come get the thread. Uh, I, I don't want to put too much on my plate, but I want to shave this weekend. I want to, I want to have a clean shaving face. And I put my teeth in and... I don't know why I ain't trying to impress nobody. Uh, but, uh, well, maybe I'm wanting to go back over and talk to Caroline. I, I can't get that lady off my mind. I don't know why. She's an old lady. She's 75. Of course, I'm 78. <laughs> Sheesh. What's wrong with you, old man? I'm still married anyway. I ain't never got a divorce. My wife passed away. She died, but we're not divorced. And what do you want, Diamond? Is that Diamond or Houdini? That's Diamond. That's Diamond. Anyway, this is the weekend. I'm going to get something done this weekend. For certain. Ah. Oh. Okay, see you on the next video.